And we're live on TV, no swearing, please. <laughs> Hello, Simon. What's your robot doing? Uh, this is teeny tiny Raspberry Pi bot. So it's the smallest Raspberry Pi bot in the universe ever, ever, ever. Two stepper motors, uh, double sided tape to the side of a Raspberry Pi case. And uh, that's it, really. Just powered by the electronics that comes with your stepper motors. Two pound each from China. And a USB charger battery. It'll go forward, it'll turn, it'll even go backwards. There you are. How are you controlling it? So it's all controlled from scratch. Would you like to look over here? So I've just written uh, little routines in scratch. And the trick is that there's a Python handler program running in the background that's actually controlling the GPIO. So it's listening to broadcast from scratch and sending the appropriate commands to the GPIO port. Connected wirelessly? Connected wirelessly. So all you need is your Raspberry Pi with a Wi-Fi dongle, a breadboard, a couple of wires, and a battery, and your stepper motors. So the stepper motors cost five pounds each if you buy them in this country, and uh, like I say, two pounds if you if you wait the slow boat from China. It goes slowly because you can't get much speed out of the stepper motor. They only go maximum speed of about 14 RPM, these cheap ones. But as you can imagine, in a school on a desktop, this would be quite an advantage. So it means you could actually just have these on people's desktops and move them slowly along. It needs the big wheels, otherwise it goes even slower. I don't know how big a wheel it'll take, but we could play with that in class and just see what would happen. Okay, that's it, thank you.